All right, guys, welcome to Work Truck Week on the Dirt Monkey channel. Yesterday, we covered the Toyota Tundra and Toyota TRD, so if you want to see more of that, go back to yesterday's video. Today, we've got brand new ground we're going to be covering. We're going to be looking at the different options in both Chevy and Ford, but something unique kind of happened. The people at the Chevy would not talk to me. In fact, they told me I was not allowed to film them and they are not allowed to be on camera. And then I started to film at the Ford place and the same thing happened. So let's dive right into today's video and see what kind of crazy adventures we have. Need a car sign? I think they got you covered. So, all right guys, I'm in the Chevy booth and uh, the Chevy red tape is thick and uh, they cannot legally go on camera and tell me anything about their trucks unless they've been pre-approved by mm -hmm. Chevrolet but I found out some dirt for you anyway. This is the Chevy Silverado has, this is a four cylinder turbo engine. And this turbo engine is gonna boost about 20 miles per gallon. Now they've got a number of different four options. Then I asked, well, which one is supposedly the best, most fuel efficient? And the most fuel efficient engine that they offer is the, uh, the diesel that they have. Let's see, where is it? Right here, the Duramax 3.0 liter. Uh, with 277 horsepower, they're claiming is going to get you over 31 miles per gallon or up to 31 miles per gallon on the road, on highway. I've never seen a diesel engine do that. This is a standard model. Level trim package. And then we're gonna go over and look at the highest level trim package. Um, another thing that I learned was that you see this trim package, look at this freaking screen. It's the size of a computer, right? These. Uh, Typically, uh, this is a 1500, typically the 1500s get the new updates and then the following year, the 2500 and 3500s get that same update. Not always, but most of the time. And then this is a completely digital panel. I'm not sure I, I dig that in any way, shape or form, but that is a, a completely digital readout there. Your entertainment center module right there. This is the mid-level trim package. Let's go over and the high end, what those look like inside. So this is called the high country, and this is the highest level trim package. And a couple of the things that are new with this is the interior is new, and then the shift column is also new. So this is a new update right here, and then this has the same. I wanna show you the, how the tailgate works. I think uh, we'll just take a quick peek at how this works. So this nice lady told me off camera that she was not allowed to talk to me on camera, but that didn't mean she couldn't show me things without saying anything. Yeah, that's how picky, but that's how picky these guys at Chevy are at controlling their messages. Now this also has the power up, power down option. So that you can flip the tailgate up with the touch of a button if you need to be. And then we're gonna go over here, thank you very much. We're gonna go over here and take a look at the 2500 HD. Now this is a new unit, but now I want you to look at something. That's a 1500, 2500 is right here, same year. The different trim package so you can see the display has not been updated yet on the heavier duty models. Now if we wanted to raise and lower this, this, this truck has actually been, de been shut off, but at a touch of a button, you can hit that button and the tailgate will power up and power down. And the reason it's been shut off is because of that, uh, that storm. And then let's go over and take a look at Now this is the highest trim package on the 3500. It's got that same tailgate system, but you're gonna see that this is not the same as the 1500. It hasn't been released yet. High country, highest level trim package. Does not have the giant screen because this is a heavier duty truck. And like I said, they usually typically give the lighter duty trucks the first updates see how those do and then bring them out, roll them out for the other ones. And you can see how the, the, uh, the dash looks on these. So this is the rough overview, the rough and fast overview on these trucks. 
If you guys want to see more on the Chevy work trucks, let me know and maybe I can send line something up so I can actually get approval by Chevy to meet with somebody and go over some of the differences and the updates and really do a really deep dive on that for you. Okay, another thing that's new on these trucks is they have hands-free driving. And I asked specifically, is hands-free driving, is that leaving it's like Tesla? By no means is this like a Tesla. Look at that dash, that is gorgeous. So what it has, it has driver awareness. And that means it's gonna have, this one doesn't, isn't equipped with it, but it has sensors in, in the steering wheel, which actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking, monitor if you're paying attention to the road. That is legitimately how it does it. And if you look away for more than five seconds, it's gonna warn you. And if you look away a second time for more than five seconds or the sensors decide you're not paying attention, it's going to warn you a second time. And the third time, the truck's gonna shut off on you. So it's not like the Tesla where you have complete autonomous driving. This has driver awareness, but it also has a couple other things that we haven't brought up yet. And that has a backup safety sensor. So if you're backing up and maybe a kid ran behind you or something else, it'll automatically just stop for you. And it has the same sensors in the front of the vehicle as well. But new is the rear backup safety sensors. And I thought this was just an interesting, that driver awareness thing. Let's take a quick peek at the inside. This is the highest level trim package. Again, the high country on a Silverado, the 1500 or half ton package. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure if it came on on its own or if somebody turned it on. It does what it wants to do. So if you want that high level trim, but you want a 2500 or 3500 a heavy duty truck, you're gonna probably, probably have to wait a year to be able to get that trim package. All right, this is a Ford Lightning. This is basically, basically it's a half ton truck. Not really sure what I'm looking at with this truck. Look at the freaking display on this thing. Holy buckets. Oh, it's got a standard shifter, thank goodness. Somebody hasn't. Okay, cobbled up on there. Sorry, what's that? We see you off the stage, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ross, and on behalf of Ford, I'd like to welcome you all to the Minneapolis Auto Show. Thank you so much for joining us and protecting yourself and others by following all health and safety guidelines while you are here at the show. Right now, I'd like to introduce you to the truck of the future, the 2022 F-150 Lightning. Now, as you can see, the Lightning is undeniably an F-Series truck. It epitomizes the toughness that Ford truck owners love while giving a distinctly modern, high-tech flick. Now, with the extended range battery, it is the fastest F-150 yet. Zero to 60 in the mid-four second range. 563 horsepower and 775 pounds of almost instantaneous torque. Now, the F-150 Lightning went through the same torture test that all of our F-Series trucks do to ensure they can handle those tough tasks under extreme conditions. 2,000 pound payload, 10,000 pound towing capacity. So a lot of cool specs there. Now join me at the front of the vehicle. You'll notice that there is no engine. It's all electric. So we put in a front. That's right, a front trunk. 400 liters of volume, 400 pounds of payload, four electrical outlets, and a drainable floor. So if you want to turn that into a cooler, that's absolutely something you can do. All right? Now the F-150 Lightning is also the smartest truck that Ford has ever built. It's available with Ford Safe Ford technology, supported by an available 15.5 inch touchscreen, putting the technology right there at your fingertips. Now available Blue Cruise is a new technology that builds on the adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, and speed sign recognition. So the driver can actually operate this vehicle hands-free while being monitored by a front-facing camera to make sure that your eyes stay on the road. Now this is on pre-qualified sections of divided highways called hands-free blue zones that make up over 100,000 miles in North America. And then finally, with the front of the vehicle and in the back actually, you can use it to charge your uh, electronic uh, devices, tools, appliances away from the home, up to 9.6 kilowatts of power. 
And then also, this vehicle can be used to power your home for up to three days' time. There's a generator on it. It can power your home for three days longer, depending on the usage. Now, these are just some of the highlights of the F-150 Lightning. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask myself or any of the product specialists on the floor. And keep in mind that we want to get you inside of your vehicle. Questions? So we are going to give you a $50 gift card just to test that out. See any of our product specialist friends in the back there, and we will go ahead and get you all signed up. Now, without further ado, we need to do a drawing here. We have our first drawing of the day on the hour every hour. If you don't win, please feel free to come on back, and we will get you all set up to try to win again. All right, here's our first drawing. Drum roll, please. Okay, and the winner here for the 5 o'clock hour is L. Moore. Is L. Moore here? L. Moore, where are you from? The park. The park. Yeah, park. L. Moore is right, from the park. L. Moore. <laughs> well done. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Orr. I have a question. What's the range? Range what? is going to be 320 miles. 320? With the extended range battery, 230 miles on the standard. What's the price? The price is going to start at 40, then it's going to go all the way up to the 90 level at the platinum. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you have four trim levels in there. So you got the Pro, XLT, Larry, and Platinum. The price ranges vary in between. All right. And the recharge time is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, he can because he's. No, he can't either. Oh. When he's narrating, he can. But when he. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we don't know what the recharge time is. Well, I can tell you that. But okay. We, we're not allowed to be recorded. So long story short, I was told that they weren't allowed to talk to me either unless I have prior written approval from the major manufacturer. The company reps can't talk to me, but the dealers can and that's where i struck gold next so we're going to hook up with the dealer and we're going to find out a lot more about ford trucks than what this guy could tell me uh doing his demonstration overnight charging is eight hours and if you're on the road and you need to charge then you can charge from 15 percent to 80 percent in 41 minutes that's what she said so all right Thank you. Thank you. How are you, going? you too. Nobody is authorized to talk to me, but they're talking to me off camera. So I asked, I want to see the highest end trim package that's available, and then just go take a look at your standard work truck trim package. And this is called the King Ranch. So this has got the dual colored leather accents in it. And uh, they actually, one of the things that the actual leather used to come right from the ranch out of Texas. I don't know if they still do or not, but. So now let's go take a look at the mid-level trim package and just kind of do a compare and contrast. They have that in the F F350. Now they have two gasoline version models and then they have a diesel engine available as well. So we're gonna, they have one F350 here at the show. The new Broncos are out. And here we are. This is the Super Duty F350. I don't know. I think this is just about as nice as I would ever, ever need. Look at this giant screen. Another digital display screen here. Um, when the lightning guy was talking, we can have him on camera, but when he was talking about that, that same driver awareness program and what that basically is, the same thing that Chevy has, sensors built in so that... Uh, and make sure that you're paying attention to the road, but you can go hands-free if you want to. Dual sunroofs. And this is the Lariat level package. This has got the 6.7 liter power stroke. <laughs> 81,000 total vehicle and other options. Did you have any questions or? Yeah, but I don't think you can actually answer them on camera, can you? I can answer anything you want. What, you can? I don't work for Ford. I work for a dealership. Ask away. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Stan. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dan. Uh, can you walk me through what's new with the Ford F-350s, the, super, the 250s, 350s, the work trucks is what I'm well, really looking for? The interesting thing is, is that in 23, they're changing. Okay. So this is this this style has been this way for about four years. They're adopting a lot of the features off the F-150. We haven't even seen them yet. So this truck, as you're seeing it, realistically, you can't you 
can't even get anyways because they're sold out. There's, yeah, yeah, okay. You, you can't you can't order them. The, the order bank was shut off on these in March. So the interesting thing will be to see what they do for 23 because that's kind of what we're all waiting for. So if I need a work truck and I want a Ford, what do I do? You're going to have to wait. I hate to say it. Wait till August to order one. Wait till August of 2022 this yep, year? this year. And then order one for next year? For 23. How, how far are they backed up? A lot of it depends on what you order as so to how long it's going to take. If you're if you're talking about a more basic work truck, they're coming okay. I've seen them coming, you know, three to four months. If you're ordering, <laughs> that's a, okay. <laughs> if you're ordering a limited or a platinum or a King Ranch, with all of the uh, radar controlled safety features that require these chips that we can't get, could be eight months, ten months. I had one that took eleven months. Wow. So. Wow. How much does this truck go for right here, Dan? If, well, if this was if this truck was sitting on anybody's lot, I hate to say it, they're probably they're going to probably be ten, five to ten grand over sticker. Over sticker. Yeah. If you order one, you aren't going to pay over MSRP. It's the only way to save money is to order. If you order a lot. It's going to be. It'll, it's going to be. So is that why the Ford people have keep calling me saying they want to buy my F one fifty for the same price I paid for it, even though it's got forty thousand miles and three years on it? Well. In, from the time that this shortage of chips and well, it's it's more than just chips. Uh, just just to give you an example, they had to shut the F, the Super Duty plant down for a week because they were in a wiper motors. Of all things, the supply chain thing, you've got chips, but because there aren't any vehicles, used cars, some went up as much as thirty percent, which is what trucks did. So yeah, you're. Your truck is probably worth what it was three, three years ago. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you, you aren't going to lose any money on your trade. Hence, the trade off on the new ones that there's no rebates, no discounts. You're getting it all on your trade. It's really a wash when you think about it. Because hmm. if you're going to get five to 10 grand more for your trade, you're going to pay five to 10 grand more for this. It's really a wash. Well, the, the ones that hurts are the people that don't trade anything because they have nothing to absorb that. Mm. So they're cost. paying the premium without getting any of the benefits yeah, of the trade in. Exactly. Mm. Is this going on TV? No. Awesome. <laughs> no. I'm, a, I'm on YouTube, so. Oh. But Dan, what's where, where can people find you? Because you've been actually more help than anybody I'm here. Just right up here at Midway Ford, three miles north of, of where we are. So there you go. If you where need we, to you need to have... order a truck for next year, go to Dan. There you go. At Midway Ford, three miles up the road in St. Yeah. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. It's a... Thanks, Dan. Yeah, you bet. Much Good appreciated. Is there anything else you wanted to cover on this? I mean, what, what about tailgate options? I guess that's something that, you know, like Chevy's got that fancy tailgate that comes down into six different positions and well, you can blot up yada ying, yada that's you. What's, that's kind of funny because remember how they, pick, how they picked on Ford when we first got the tailgate step? Yeah. Called it the sissy step. It's amazing how they have one now. <laughs> the difference is, is the step that we've got and we might not be able to open it. It's got a 350 pound rating to get in and out. I've already read where their tailgates, their multi-position tailgates, same with uh, Rams, they rattle after after a year. They're terrible. Huh. We haven't had any issues with them, other than their targets to be stolen. Oh. So keep them locked. Because uh -huh. they love to steal a tailgate. 